I'm Eliza and today I have some different games, instructions, activities, things like that. So sit back and relax and let's dive straight in. Okay, so the first game that we have is Double. We've played this before on my channel, but if you can't remember the rules, I'll explain it again. So, I'm going to show you two cards, and there will always be one thing that matches between the two cards. So, I want you to have a look and see if you can figure out what is matching. Let me have a look. It is the exclamation mark exclamation point right here. Okay, so then we'll keep one of the cards and grab a new one. So that's how the game is going to work. So this is our old card and our new card. I'll give you five seconds, I think is a good amount of time. Four, three, two, one. Did you figure it out? It is the pencil. The pencil. Good. We'll keep this card. I'm trying to see through the card and try to figure it out at the same time as you. Are you ready? Five, four, three, two, one. It is the moon. Did you get it? Did you see the moon? Okay. Well done if you did. Don't worry if you didn't. Here is our new card. Five, four, three, two, one. Did you get it? I didn't get it. Mm. What is it? It's the carrot. I see it now. It's the carrot. Okay. Let's grab a new card. Five, four, three, two, one. Did you get it? It is the paint splatters. The paint splatters here and here. Okay. We have two more. We'll do this two more times. Five, four, three, two, one. Did you get it? It is the tree. This little tree here and this tree here. And the final round. Are you ready? Five, four, three, Did you get it? Ah, it is the tree again. It's the tree again. Okay, well done. We might come back to these cards at the end if we have time. Let's move on now to our next game. So the next thing that I have, I have this pack of beads. And I'm trying to Can you see the different colours of these beads? Let's go through the different colours first quickly before we get into the game. So what colour would you call this? Okay, good. I would call it white. There's only a few beads left, but it's white. The next one. Good. The next one. Good. I would call it peach. It really doesn't matter for the game what you want to call the colours, so if you disagree with me, that's completely fine. You can stick with your colour. 
and this colour okay good, I would say it's a purpley blue or a bluey purple this one, good, this one yep, this one good, the next one good, this one and this one good, can you see the difference between this colour and this colour? yeah, this one is kind of purpley grey, I would say anyway, so for the game I want you to choose one of these colours and then I'm going to go around and land on different colours and if I land on your colour then that colour is out and you're out, okay? although you can choose another colour and keep playing along, it doesn't matter and if I don't land on your colour until the very end then you win, okay? so <clears throat> um, let's begin you by choosing a colour choose one of these colours, do you have it? okay, good now I'm gonna go around spelling different words actually, let's spell the names of different ASMR artists, okay? so I'll begin with Eliza E-L-I-Z-A I'm afraid you're out let's say Veda V E D A purple is out. Let's do Luna Bloom L U N A B L O O M. You are out. Mm, let's do G I B I. You are out mm, A B B Y you are out let me think of other ASM artist I'll do Amy K A M Y K A Y blue is out I'm struggling to remember who's out and who's in so apologies we're just gonna say that whoever I say wins wins even if I'm wrong I think it's down to these three or is it down to these four? I'm gonna say it's down to these four if you were pink and you were out congratulations I'm saying you're no longer out let's do these three, four um, another ASMR artist let's do Phantasm P H a N T A S M Ah, oh, dark pink, you're out again. Um let's do S R P Green is out is between the final two. Let's do Cap Bailey C A P B A I L E Y you are out, so the winner is light pink. Congratulations, light pink. If you got light pink, then you can tingle to these tingly hand sounds. And if you didn't get light pink, then you're not allowed to tingle, but you can listen and relax. Okay, well done, well done. Congratulations, congr congr congratulations. Let's do that one more time and I'll try to be better at remembering who's in and who's out. Okay, so choose a colour once again. I'll do it the other way around this time just to see. I don't know, just just for fun. So this time we will start with light pink and go that way, okay? so, have you chosen your colour? are you ready? good let's begin with Kelly B 
belly will do K E L L Y B E L L Y Black or grey is out Let's do V O N N I E White is out So black and white are out Let's do James J A M E S M A T T H E W <laughs> I've forgotten how to spell Matthew, but I think that might be right. Okay, white, black, and light pink are all out. Let's do G L O W. You are out. So one, two, three, four are out. Let's do S H I V. Wait, S <laughs> yes, E R M E T I N G L E S. Okay, bluey purple or purpley blue, you are out. This is very challenging for me. I feel like there's a lot of things for me to remember. I'm doing my best. Okay, let's say Musing Mirror M U S I N G M I R A. So you are out. So we are left with one, two, three, four. Congratulations if you're in the final four. I'm running out of ASMR artists. Let's say I don't want to do Miss Manganese because the name's too long. Let's do Miss Manganese. Okay. M I S S M A N G A N E S E Maybe we're down to the final three. Green is out. Let's do K A R U N A S A T O R I Blue is out. We're between dark pink and purple and let's do charge c h a r g e purple is out well done dark pink you are the winner if you said dark pink then you can tingle to these hand sounds and visuals if not then you can't tingle you're not allowed you're not the tingle, but you can watch and relax, okay? Okay, well done. Let's give ourselves, let's give, let's both give ourselves a pat on the back, because that was challenging. <laughs> okay, the next thing that I have, I have a bunch of different colour cards, and we're going to choose a colour. And then I want you to imagine if you were pretending to read someone's tarot card based on the colour and the name of the colour, what might you say about that particular card? Okay, so let's, I'll make it random so that I can't see. Okay, let's stop here. Okay, this is the colour, and it's called Mustard Blanket. Mustard Blanket. So, if you were pretending to read someone's tarot, and you got this card, what might you say about it? How could you relate this colour and the name of the colour? Mustard Blanket. How... 
could you describe this card if it were a tarot card? I'll give you a few seconds to think about it while I make some sounds. Hmm. Mustard blanket. It's quite a hard one. Maybe I would say something about about a blanket being safe and enveloping and the colour is quite earthy so maybe something about being grounded hmm. what would you say? okay, that's very creative okay, let's see another card I'll just shuffle them a little bit okay, let's choose a card this card is called Cranberry Crunch Cranberry Crunch what might you say about Cranberry Crunch? I'll give you a few seconds to think about it while I do some tapping Cranberry Crunch, Cranberry I might say something about the colour red being fiery and passionate or maybe anger, maybe angry Cranberry Crunch doesn't sound very angry though I wonder when cranberries are in season I'm not really sure I don't know if we really see many cranberries in the UK Mm, but maybe there's some maybe you could say something related to that if it's in the summer cranberry crunch it's about something coming to fruition it's a ripe cranberry (laughs) Mm, I did a video before where I did this where I pretended to read your tarot with these colour cards but I found it much easier and now I'm thinking that I must have lucked out quite a lot with the cards that I drew that time because some of these are quite challenging to think of anything okay this one is called Mulberry Burst Mulberry Burst what could you say about Mulberry Burst? I'll give you a few seconds to think about it while I open and close this fan Mulberry Crunch and it's a deep kind of purpley colour I wonder what connotations purple has Hmm. I think again it's quite grounded, it's quite an earthy shade then mulberry burst, it's similar to cranberry crunch about something coming to fruition mulberry being ready to burst, maybe it's about some that you need to take action before the mulberry bursts <laughs> How are you doing with these? Are you doing a better job than me at thinking of things? I'm sure you are. Let's do just let's do just one more of these. I think it's quite fun and silly. Okay. Let's choose one at random. Ooh. This is a vibrant green and it's called lush grass lush grass what could you say about lush grass? 
I'll let you think about it while I brush your face. Lush grass. Lush grass. Lush grass. A lot of the cards that we've drawn have been about have been about natural things. Well, I guess that maybe that's just colour names tend to be about that, but the lush grass, the crunchy cranberries, the bursting mulberries, it seems very, very summery and very, um, what's the word I'm looking for? Abundance is kind of the word I'm looking for. I think it's, it seems like everything is fully grown prime, like lush grass. I wonder if the colour green could relate to anything, or the lush grass might also be very comfortable to lie on. You could rest on it and be connected to the ground. Maybe that could relate to the mustard blanket that we had earlier. How easy or hard did you find it to come up with these connections? I'd be interested to know. Okay. Next, we are going to have a look at some frogs. Not real frogs. On a poster. And we're going to decide our favourite frog. Okay. So, we're going to go kind of line by line and then, yeah. So let's begin with comparing the pond frog and the green and black poison dart frog. Which do you prefer out of the pond frog or the green and black poison dart frog? Can you see them? I want to make sure you can see them well. The pond frog and the green and black poison dart frog. Which is your favourite? Three, two, one. My favourite is the green and black poison dart frog. And next we have the Kalula and the Northern Leopard Frog. Which do you prefer out of the Kalula and the Northern Leopard Frog? Three, two, one. Okay, I prefer the Kalula because it's so chubby and cute. So out of, we're gonna see if you agree with my thoughts because I don't know your thoughts really. Um, so now we're gonna compare the green and black poison dart frog and the Kalula. Which do you prefer, green and black poison dart frog or the Kalula? Three, two, one. Okay, I prefer the green and black poison dart frog. So that will be the winner of this line. We'll do the winners of each line and then we'll go like that, okay. So the next line, we have the Argentine, wait, okay. We have the Argentine Horned Frog, yeah, or the Panamanian Golden Frog. The, which do you prefer, Argentine Horned Frog or the Panamanian Golden Frog? I prefer the, it's a close one, it's hard, but I think I prefer the Panamanian Golden Frog. Ok, 